Curious if the planet Mars could support life? NASA scientists are launching a rover called Curiosity with the aim of finding out. It's not your father's rover. This is a 2,000 pound uh, machine that's over six feet tall. The plan is to launch for the Red Planet aboard an Atlas V rocket on November 25th, but it wouldn't arrive until August next year. Uh, this rover is not only the most technically capable rover ever sent to another planet, uh, but it's actually the most capable scientific explorer we've ever sent out. It will use 10 scientific instruments, including a six-foot arm that will collect samples and a laser that vaporizes material from rocks to determine what elements they're made of. Using these tools, the rover will gather evidence to help future missions discover if life exists on the planet. This mission is really about looking for those habitable environments and not detecting life itself. The spacecraft, which is really three vehicles, will first have to travel across the vastness of space. Um, there is the vehicle that gets you to Mars. Um, uh, there is the vehicle that actually penetrates the atmosphere and goes through the entry, descent and landing portion of the, of the mission. And then there is the rover that eventually gets deposited on the surface. The intended landing zone is in the Gale Crater, near a mountain suspected to contain clays and sulfates, both known to form in water. And so what you see on the graphic is the descent stage that we use to propulsively lower the rover and, the, uh, and itself to the surface of Mars. Entry, descent and landing is always a uh, an exciting time and a challenging time. Uh, we're confident uh, in our ability to do it successfully at the planet, but it is clearly not risk-free as, risk as you can see from the complexity in the animation. Once safely on the planet, it may take months to gather the first data. But when it does, it will send information back to Earth that hundreds of scientists around the world will have access to. Jenny Harrison, CNN, Atlanta.